Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 9.0. And today is day 18. So today we are focused on wrapping up our training on the Smart Plans applet. I'm going to show you how you can determine which contacts are on a Smart Plan, how you can unsubscribe or remove them from that Smart Plan. Um, that's definitely important, especially when somebody uh, replies to one of your smart plans and says take me off this so let's go ahead and dive in to make sure we know how we are managing contacts on smart plans we're going to dive into our diploma icon here fourth on the left hand side the smart plans applet let's go ahead and close out our blue boxes and from there in our smart plan list you can see in this center column here contacts we now have two individuals who are on our monthly neighborhood nurture and just to the right of that number two, you can see there's this little eyeball icon. If I click on that, it's gonna tell me which of my contacts are on that smart plan. So our two fictional characters here, Monica Geller, Sirius Black, both on the smart plan. If I wanted to, I can remove one or both of them by clicking on the check boxes. You can see if I had an entire list of people, I could also choose select all. If I was looking for a specific person to see if they were on this list, I could type in a name and see if they were there. And I can see, okay, this person's not on that list. If for some reason you had a really, really long list, right? And we're not talking about just 10 or 15, let's say you had 300 people and you realize, uh-oh, I made a misspelling, the data is corrupted, the design doesn't look good, whatever it might be. And you just wanted to remove everyone from that smart plan you could also use the remove all. So select all is only gonna select the number of contacts it'll show, and I apologize, I can't remember the max, it's probably 10 or 25, something like that, on one page. Select all would select everybody on that page, and then you might have to go to page by page by page. If you wanna remove everyone from the smart plan, you would click on remove all. In addition, if you come into a specific contact, and we know Monica Geller, our fictional character, is on the Neighborhood Nurture, so we can search for her name. We can pull up her contact record, and we also have the Smart Plans tab, if you'll recall, on the right-hand side of her contact record. I can click there, and then I can see inside of this contact record a couple of things, right? First of all, I can see that she is on the Smart Plan. She was manually added on March 26th scheduled to start on March 28th. So this is important if you're kind of wondering when your contacts are gonna get their next email. If it's an email-based smart plan, this is a great way to see that. If you want to remove a contact from a smart plan, you can click this minus icon. It'll say, hey, you want to remove them from the smart plan? And I can say, yes, remove. And now you can see that Monica is no longer on that smart plan. I talked about it previously, but just an important reminder, if you do remove someone from a smart plan halfway through, so let's say it's a 10 step smart plan, we are five steps in, we have fired, maybe it's an email, a couple of texts, uh, we've got a call task, and then realize that step six has an issue with it. And we want to remove that person from the smart plan prior to getting to step six. If we go in and fix step six on that smart plan and then put the contacts back onto the smart plan, they're gonna start back at step one. So in the event that that does happen, typically what I would recommend, if you have a custom smart plan like that, you can come down and let's see, we're gonna close out all of our boxes again. And um, we're gonna go in. What you can do is click on your three dots and make a copy of the smart plan. So let's say you wanna leave the original smart plan alone with all of its touches in place, but then I wanna make a copy, right? And this is the uh, fix to that smart plan, right? I'm gonna apply that. So now I have two versions of it. Anyone new still goes on this smart plan because this one's the correct smart plan. I've made the edits, but this one is the one where I fixed it halfway. Well, now I could go in and I could remove some of the steps. So I could come in and say, okay, let's click on this step. They already had that, I'm gonna remove it. Uh, let's click on this step, they already had that, I'm gonna remove that step, right? I hadn't gotten to this email step yet with the contacts because I looked at it and there was an issue, right? So we can come in and 
make that zero. We're gonna make this, I'm pretty sure I can let, delete that day out. And I'm pretty sure this is gonna make this step one. What am I missing here? Wait seven days, nope, let's just put that down to zero. All right, one day. Oh, we've got a repeat on this. All right, so we gotta delete the repeat. There we go. Now we should be able to take this down to one day. And now I can start putting people on this smart plan and it will start back up where they left off, if you will. So just important again to remember if somebody gets removed, whether you're manually removing them or remember, we've got our trigger removes that we talked about on a previous challenge. If they are removed from a smart plan and you're gonna put them back, just remember they're gonna start back over at the very beginning. So now you have seen how we can create custom smart plans, download smart plans, edit smart plans, create them to your heart's content. Again, my favorite and I think most powerful tool is that monthly neighborhood nurture. So hopefully all of your clients, contacts, people, all of your people are on that smart plan, regardless if they're looking to buy or sell now. And now you can easily see who's on that smart plan. And if there's any reason to remove someone, you now know how to remove contacts from a smart plan. That's it for our smart plan training. Come back tomorrow. We're going to dive into the referrals applet and see some pretty powerful tools with regards to referral patterns and finding offices both nationally and worldwide. Stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.